Alrighty guys, here is a new project that we just finished up. Uh, we got Alex, Fred, and Marco here. They uh, they worked really hard to get this all up and running. This is a project that we did at the uh, uh, conference room in McAllen, Texas. It's called the Greater uh, Association of Realtors in McAllen, or I might have flipped those, those words, but yeah, it's it's here. Uh, this is this is a little teaching room they use for um, for obviously for conference room you know just meetings and uh, and they do little real estate uh, classes and all that good stuff prior to us coming in and installing this gigantic monster of a screen they had six screens in this room um, they were surrounding the the you know the, the front wall the back wall and then the sides and if you see those tables there, basically there's, there was like four rows of those tables. Um, and people would just watch whatever TV they wanted. So now we mounted this gigantic screen, 200 inch screen. Everything is visible from any seating position. Um, we used a <laughs> gigantic projector. That's uh, L1405 by Epson. It's a laser projector. It's 8,000 lumens. 8,000 lumens, 2.5 million to one contrast. Uh, the screen is a 200 inch black diamond by Screen Innovations. Um, it's a, a fixed screen, uh, ambient light rejecting. So right now I have the lights on. Uh, Fred, do you mind switching the lights on? That one, that one, that one. Turn off the last one. There you go. So you can see, even with the lights on, this screen is, it looks just like a TV. I mean, that thing looks amazing. Look at that. This is a 4K projector. Uh, we don't have a 4K signal, but it's capable of 4K. Um, we, we basically retrofit all of our stuff into what was already here. Um, a lot of the stuff that's here is pretty similar to what we use, but um, despite obviously all the stuff that's already here, I mean, we, we basically, took over this job. Um, in here you'll see an Onkyo home theater receiver. Uh, cool thing about this guy is it's got two HDMI outs. So if you notice, I've got a TV back there with the same image as that giant beast. And uh, we're, we're able to share that image from either the Apple TV, uh, Sony Blu-ray player, or basically also a, a wall plate. So their podium right there goes right here and they have a wall plate with a long HDMI cable that attaches to a laptop. The Apple TV is usually used for, um, here we go, focus. It's usually used for uh, the teachers that have uh, Macs um, so they can wirelessly, wirelessly stream to the, the Apple TV. <clears throat> And basically just connect from the podium to the Apple TV wirelessly and do their presentation, PowerPoints or whatever. Um, the cool thing about the way we set it up is there is a microphone and this Onkyo allows us to switch sources and still keep a video feed going, which is really nice. That we just found out. Um, we also did a, a control four to control the projector and the TV in the back. Uh, we used a configurable keypad here, and we mounted the little keypad uh, buttons that do different functions. So our top button does, uh, um, does the uh, Apple TV, our middle button does a Blu-ray, our bottom button here, our middle one, that one does the, the uh, HDMI wall plate, and then this one here turns off the back TV, and, um, and then the very, very bottom one, I believe turns everything off and these are to you uh, to raise and lower the volume so um, this one we push there and it turns the TV back on that's if we don't need the, the back TV um, so again this is pretty simple stuff it's uh, we've got Fred up there taking off the scaffolds working hard um, I mean look at that picture man it looks amazing Alex and Fred and Marco, these guys knocked it out of the park. It looks really, really sharp, really, really good, man. Uh, the next step from from uh, for this project is we are going to do the acoustic panels. 
Uh, acoustic panels are going to basically cover all the walls, the surrounding walls. There's 22 acoustic panels. Um, there's a lot of echo and reverberations in the room. Yes, uh, do, you, do you mind, Alex? Clap like really, really loud. You hear that echo? So that echo is going to go away with all the acoustic panels. So that's the idea. Um, <clears throat> what else? Oh, uh, those TVs that we took off, you can see right there. We've got a few, and then we repositioned them. Uh, the ones that aren't aren't there, we moved them around to the different parts of the the building. Um, this is a pretty cool job. Came out amazing. It's pretty simple. Um, projector, you know, uh, screen, uh, rewiring all of the the head end. Uh, the head end was a mess. The previous guy that, that left this job, I don't know what he was thinking, but yeah, man, he left a, a rat's nest back there. Let me show you what it looks like now. Let's see if we can move this around. Look at this, man. This is this is what a professional does, guys. So these are all zip tied and and properly loomed. A lot of those cables aren't being used anymore because they were for TVs that were that were taken off. But yeah, nicely loomed and everything. So let's see, maybe I can post a, a picture of of the head end before. Um, aside to the keypad, the configurable keypad that's there, we also have the remote control, which I lost. I don't know where I left. Here it is. <clears throat> control four remote here also handles the commands for the, the, the Apple TV commands for the uh, commands for the uh, the blu-ray player and, um, and if the customer really wants to they can do music and all that stuff from here too so there we go I'm gonna switch to the blu-ray player I think it's bright, man. It's super bright. Turning on the Blu-ray player. There we go. And there isn't anything connected at the moment, but let's see, there's a DVD in the thing. Let's turn this TV back on. I thought I pushed the button. It must have not pushed it properly. See configuration settings. Okay, conference room. We're going to Marco. Did you leave a, a, a button on the remote for for the uh, big TV in the back to turn it on? All right. Custom button two. There you go. This is custom button two right here. And there you go. It turns on the TV in the back. So I don't know what's playing right now. Oh, there you go. This is what these guys do. So we can pause. We can turn it off. Look at these guys. I'm just in the way. And uh, let's go to Blu-ray. <clears throat> and then let's go to all apps. And they can view the web. They can do uh, screen mirroring and all that stuff. So yeah, guys, and then the all off function, Oop, click that button, turns this, the projector off, and turns off the back TV too. So that's it, guys. Y'all have questions, feel free to comment, ask questions, and I'll try to answer. Again, thank you, Alex and Fred and Marco. Um, you know, we'll try to answer as many questions as possible, and uh, like the video, share it with whomever you want, and thanks for, for watching.